All right, Charlie fam, well, welcome back to another episode. I'm here in Montauk, New York, and we are gonna try and do some back bay surf fishing this morning. And we're really only gonna fish like the morning hours because one, I think that's when the best bite is gonna be, but also because at around like 1, 2 p.m., I gotta start gearing up for a really awesome trip that I'm doing offshore uh, tonight and into tomorrow we're going to be out offshore for an overnighter for the mcc uh, the montauk canyon challenge and i'm going to be on my buddy uh, uh, captain dan's boat the uh, 39 contender uh, called the sea bear and i'm super pumped to get out there because i haven't been on his boat in I, at least almost a year and last year we wanted to do the same tournament but uh, unfortunately because of an engine issue and because of the weather uh, we never made it out, so um, we're trying to really make it happen this tournament and just get out there so we can at least uh, try and catch some fish so we can enter into the tourney. So hopefully everything goes uh, to, as, as planned and you know now I'm just gonna try and get a few fish before we start to get to work on that. So stay tuned, I'm gonna head down the shore maybe like a quarter mile to our first spot that is like this little rocky point that generally attracts some striped bass. So I was trying to walk down to that point right over there, but there's some fish busting on some bait right here in this cove. So we might as well try casting out this little dark matter pulsar fishaholic popper at them and see if they'll hit it. We're using some real light tackle today. This is the 4000 Iowa Citate paired with the 7 foot 6 medium fast action uh, dark matter fishaholic inshore series spinning rod. These fish that were busting didn't really look like stripers. They looked kind of, oh, whoa, just got hit. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Got them. I don't know if they're stripers though. They could just be bluefish, like little cocktail. Yep, a little cocktail bluefish. Still fun on the light tackle though. And that was quick. <laughs> really quick got the, getting the skunk out of the way within the first couple casts and they're busting like crazy right here Switching colors now just to see if we can get a bite on the Wonder Bread color. They're pretty fired up, so I think we should be able to. Oh, there he is. <laughs> that was like two or three pops and he was on it. All right, we're gonna tie it up and head down to that point because I think there'll be more stripers there. Let's try throwing around this little sluggo. I'm gonna put a bunch of Dr. Juice on it so it has some flavor. By the way, if you wanna get a free bottle of this, just click the link in the description and Salt Strong will hook you up with a free bottle and all you do is have to pay for the shipping. There's a fish. 
Nice. Woo. This one is ripping. This might be a nice striper here on the sluggo. Oh no, it's got me wrapped on a rock. Or in some gr weeds or something. Oh, I got him out. I only got 25 pound floral leader on, so I couldn't really try to like horse him in, uh, in and away from the boulders that are out there. It's a nice striper. Nice fun light tackle striper on the sluggo. Look at that beauty. Straight up munch the sluggo. Perfect. That's what I was after right there. What a beautiful one. All right, well, we took like 30, 40 more casts right in here and unfortunately only one more blue fish that was on briefly. And uh, now there's a lot of weeds coming through. So I don't really think the last like bunch of casts we were fishing that effectively because even with a weedless rig the sluggo there were still weeds accumulating on the lines so that just shows you there's a lot of weeds coming through with this outgoing tide that's starting so i think we'll hop in the truck now and head across the bay right over there and hit one more spot that potentially could have a couple more stripers at so i'll see you there see if there's anything here I'm hoping they'll just be one or two hungry ones we'll catch them and then call it for the morning oh it's hot hit there he is yeah oh I lost them dang first cast though that's a good sign some more Dr. Juice on it so that the next one eats it a little more and gets the hook better. Oh, there's another bite. There's another one. Yeah. So sweet. When there's sand eels around, it's hard for stripers to re uh, resist a little sluggo.
<laughs> yeah. This is fun. Now look how deep this fish ate it. I think that Dr. Juice helped. <laughs> he almost swallowed it. Some will say it's cheating. <laughs> See if there's some more here. So fun catching them on the logos. Oh, just got whacked again. Real close in too. There's another one. Yeah. Super fun stuff. By the way, the two rods that I was using in this video are just the seven foot six dark matter, medium fast action spinning rods. And this is the Daiwa 4000 Procyon. And the other reel I was using was the 4000 Daiwa Sotate. What a beauty. There he goes. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun fishing and filming this video for you guys this morning. And as you probably know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love light tackle fishing. So even if the fish aren't huge, like this kind of stuff is, there's nothing better in my book. And you know, you don't really have to like kill yourself to try and, you know, get on some nice action and, you know, drag screaming runs. And now being that it's a little after 12, I gotta beeline it out of here because I gotta be at the dock to head out for our overnight trip, probably at like 3, 3.30 uh, PM. And then we're gonna head out like a couple hours, probably like 80, 100 miles offshore. And then we're gonna fish into dark all night long and then most of the morning and then come back. And if we're lucky, We'll get on some nice big eye, yellowfin, bluefin tuna, mahi, swordfish, marlin, wahoo, maybe, maybe even mako shark. And I believe all those species can be entered into this tournament, except maybe blue marlin. White marlin might be. I have to still look at the the uh, total, like all the fish species that you can bring in. And there's also certain fish species that you can bring in just for like the Calcuttas. So I'm hoping we can go out there i can film an awesome video for you guys to watch at home and then we can just have an epic time and possibly win a little moolah in the process but after all the expenses and you split it say five ways probably not much is gonna be you know going into the piggy bank but that's it that's it is what it is i'm just really uh looking forward to get out there because last year we were trying to do the same tournament and unfortunately we had to pull out because of an engine issue and the weather and we're only in like a 39 foot center console so last year the weather was just like atrocious for us in a boat that size uh, i mean which i say only but it, i mean it is a big center console you know nearly 40 feet but you're fully exposed if say the weather is really nasty if you're out there in like a 50 or 60 foot viking or you know 60 foot ribovich or a, or a merit boat and then like you know you're probably uh doing a lot better than you know just taking a beating left and right on a center console so hopefully the weather cooperates and we can make something happen and come back alive. <laughs> so anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all are enjoying your summer, living life and catching fish in your own time. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.